ki khubor ka bati si tv lawan rasha phi ta ka orange nisan loom so pho near fire brigade shillong ka rotary club joai haran kat ka jinge trailang bat ka rotary club orchids city shillong ha ka khat wai trek obna nailor ar hazar ar phuai ki la penlong da ka jingthong ye ki tan riding ha saint paul secondary school mokaswan ka badan ha west gentia hills district kani ka jingthong ye ki tan riding ka long rope kum shibanta ban pentrai kam ye ka project hariyali trees for future ya ka bala yarap da ka mahindra finance Haswa Bantung ye kitan riding la penlong ye ka jingelang belengkot ha ka bale don langru uba Vincent H Darlong uba deiru Vice Chancellor John Martin Luther Christian University uba long kum kong san ha kane ka sngi nang tadi uba SK Loto u Vivek Kumar uba dei secretary John Rotary Club City Shillong ba uba longru project chairman Hari Yali uba James M Posngam uba dei u president Barim John Rotary Club Joai Uba e khongla ubalami khmat ya ka Mahindra Finance uba Anthony War Lembat Kiwei Kiwei And today I'll just a formality for the things to show that this is a project which is being sponsored by the Mahindra Finance along with the Rotary of Rotary Club of Orchid City Chilong along here with the Jawai Rotary Club and then with the support of the St. Paul's Country School Management So this is the purpose because this program is to make the environment green. To protect and improve the environment is our citizens' responsibility. If you read Article 51 AG, it says clearly it is the responsibility of every citizen of this country to protect and improve the environment. including forests lakes whatever whatever you know it's there already and there are many other areas within our constitution where it tells us what we need to do and learn you know and as a tribal people if you look all the tribes across the world including northeast the indigenous people they live with the environment they live with the forest they live with the biodiversity their homeland are always rich with natural resources environment and therefore their traditional knowledge system is built on environment and therefore if you look at whether it is a khasi or mizos nagas or cookies or tripuris that i come from you know environmental improvement is our basic fundamental tribal culture never to destroy or abuse it i had the opportunity of doing little bit of research across the tribes in the northeast and i come from a tribe from tripura where we had environmental culture very very strongly embedded one of the first thing we used to do my forefathers wherever we had village we were shifting cultivators we are always mobile but then every household must plant fruit trees enough for themselves that's part mm. of the cultural values that has been practiced therefore even any abandoned you know villages inhabited my communities you will see many fruit trees guavas jackfruit you know tropical fruit trees that is part of the culture and even today we still maintain that home garden nobody told us to do that but that is part of the culture and it is also the culture among every tribe including the khasis and garos global warming why do we need to plant trees only because there's climate change why do we need to plant trees only because of global warming it's because if we want to mitigate if we want to control to the extent possible to 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 fight against the global warming to fight against the climate change there's no other thing other than the trees that is why to mitigate things we need to mitigate the climate change to mitigate the global warming we need to plant trees our own madam gatfo the director of saint paul senior secondary school who has offered homage to all this green life and who has also taken the responsibility to nurture them 
with all the love and support that the plant will require to grow to a tree and yield fruit, seed and many other resources as mentioned that we utilize in our so much and uh, so many of developmental processes comes from the environment. In the pandemic, we have realized that how much would be, a, would be the cost of oxygen that a single person has to be supplied to uh, during in the hospital, you know, when the person was admitted, you have to spend more than 20 and 30s of thousands, you know, 20, 30 thousands of rupees. And imagine all this tree has been providing you the oxygen, the required, the basic of all the life support, oxygen, free of cost. Apart from oxygen, the tree also bless us with many other uh, resources, for example, fruits, for example, seed. And wherever you see the forest, you also see the water resource nearby. So tree plays a very, very important role in also assuring that the entire environment, the entire ecosystem, the green ecosystem of that place is very, very much taken care and everything together because we humans cannot survive. If there is no environment, there is no us. And at this moment, I'm very, very much thankful to Mahindra Finance uh, that who have sponsored the entire initiative. In fact, we have been on this green mission right from the last month in uh, conceptualizing the entire project, Project Haryali, an initiative of Mahindra Finance organized by Rotary Club of Joai in collaboration with Rotary Club of Orchid City Shillong. And this project, let me tell you, has uh, been conducted over almost six places. This is the sixth place. Today we are gathering at the last site uh, in the entire Joai and parallelly. Today we are here, but at three places in East Khasi Hills in Shillong also, it is being conducted. So this is a <coughs> mega green event that we are doing. <laughs> Thank you.